Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are definitely doing something a little more colorful, something bright, not necessarily pink in hue, but you guys, I'm really excited. I'm trying out a brand that I've had in my collection but never really purchased myself. And when I saw the eyeshadow palette, I was like, okay, that's speaking to me. I feel like I need it. And I'm talking about the Nomad Whistler Ski Lodge. You guys, I'm an avid snowboarder. I love the winter, not necessarily when it's like negative degrees, but you guys, this is after my own heart. I love this color story. We got some very bright eyeshadows in here. Now, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications and new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But if you want to see how I got this look using the Nomad Whistler Snow Lodge palette, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, today we are playing with the Whistler Snow Lodge palette from Nomad. I've never purchased from them before. I know I've received a couple of their palettes from like my subscription boxes, but when I saw this on, I think it was Trend Mood or Makeup Release Radar, those are two of the Instagrams that I follow, this color story kind of spoke to me. And I love to snowboard, I love the winter. Mm, sometimes I'm over it, but this color story really speaks to me. So besides that, you guys, when I received the package, there was a lot of like care that went into it. The outside carton looks just like the palette, which I think it's so funny. When you look at the different things on here, you mustn't lose me or howling good time. Well, this looks like the coaster, but they also sent two coasters, which I think is cool. Like. I know that I bring a glass of water with me or whatever I'm drinking and I'll set it on my desk, but I don't want to have the like water stains. So I do keep coasters on my desk, which these are pretty handy. And then there's little like information cards. And this one right here is like a little postcard from Whistler. It's so cute. And it's got a little handwritten note on here from the creators. So that I think, I love the attention to detail. It just gives that personal touch. So that was really neat. I've never ordered from them before, but as someone who likes the tiny details, I'll probably order from them again. I have wanted to go snowboard Whistler. I just haven't gotten to. So this makes me want to go even more. And I didn't get to snowboard this year. I'm kind of bummed, but I did when, I was like, okay, today I'm gonna use this palette. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put my hair in a French braid, how I wear it when I go snowboarding, get in the mood. It's kind of cold out, so it's why I'm in my sweatshirt. It's just, it's a cozy type of feeling today. Okay, you guys, so before we dive in, I do wanna swatch some of the shades for you, which I love the shimmers. Those are my favorites to swatch. I don't swatch the mattes because sometimes they may not swatch exactly how you want them to, but they perform beautifully when they're used with a brush. So this first shade right here, this is Powder Specialist. And this one actually is kind of like a white to pinky shift. This one is actually really pretty. Then this green shade is Whistler. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Just a mint reflect. I wanna play with this one so bad. Then I have Black Comb. Look at that blue, you guys. I think the two shades, the blue and the green, are probably what I'm gonna play with today. And then up to Snow Good, that burgundy, like purpley shade, oh, stunning. I feel like this shade and this shade would be stunning together in a look. This shade right here is so amused. It's just kind of like that bronzy brown shade. You guys, I feel like we have a good combination of colors here. So you got some neutrals, you have some you know pastel shades, and then you have those bright pop of colors. The shimmers felt really buttery smooth when I swatched them. And then look at this color story, you guys. Just how stunning is that? You have a lot of these deeper brown shades to kind of deepen up your eye look, but then you have a lot of good pops of color. I like the pastels. I just feel like you have a good variety. Now, the one thing that's not really in here, there's not really like a tan shade to put into the crease, but I feel like if you do like a light hand with this shade, you might be able to do that. I don't know, we're not playing with the neutrals today. We are definitely playing with some bright colors. Now, the other thing in here, can you see these pressings? You can't really see it on this one. It's actually the ski lift. 
maybe if I shift it you can. And then you've got the skis and the bunny. So I feel like there's some really fun little details in here as well. The pressings are so cute. Including the moose wearing the snow goggles. <laughs> Let me know, are you guys picking this up? Does this color story speak to you? Let me know, do you snowboard? But this one, mm, I wanna have fun with this one. So I think to start out, I'm gonna go into the shade right here, this deep blue called Snowmad. And I'm gonna place that in the lower part of my crease and into the outer V. And then take this light blue shade right here, Snow Bunny, and put that into the crease to blend out. And then we'll use those two shades, the mint green and the deep blue shimmer. So I dipped in ever so slightly. I only dipped in twice. I didn't wanna kick it up too much. I wanna see how concentrated it is before I go heavy handed in. So I'm just going to place it there. Okay, so it's not too bad. <laughs> It's not kicking up. There's a little kick up, but nothing too crazy. Okay, I want a little bit more. I feel like this is gonna stain my eyeshadow brushes. But I'm also gonna place it right here in the outer V, and then I'm going to blend it out a little bit because I wanna have a good base for that shimmer. And then I'm probably gonna switch over to my more compacted smudge brush because I feel like this fluffy brush is just fluffing it everywhere. All right, I'm gonna switch over to my L19 from Laura Lee. On that same shade, Snowmad, I'm gonna concentrate it more exactly where I want it to be, just deepened up. And that's the one thing, technique is all based off of like your brushes. If you want it a little more color washed, you use a fluffy brush in the crease. If you want it more concentrated, I use a smudge brush. Just because the bristles are gonna like be more defined. That is um, a very concentrated blue. I always have to get in here because <laughs> I have weird like eyelid folds. It may look, <laughs> it may look a little crazy right now, but we will fix it, I swear. I don't know why I'm using my little handheld. There is actually a really big mirror in here. So now I'm gonna go into that light blue shade, Snow Bunny. I'm just gonna go onto one of my Sigma E25s. I just picked it up a little bit. I'm gonna place it on the outside. Now let's be realistic. This is not what I'm wearing on the slopes when I go snowboarding. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, I do <laughs> still do my makeup to go on the slopes. My friends think I'm not sometimes. But my makeup will last. See, it fluffed up too much over here, but I will clean it up with a white before I'm done. I kinda wanna use this shade Ski Out and just a little bit in the outer V to deepen it up a little bit, just a little bit. Ooh, you guys, that gives it a whole different dimension. Okay, I do like how that shade actually like deepened up the blue. The blue is still there. I'll probably deepen it up a little bit more after I put down the shimmers, but I like it so far. Now I'm gonna go into black comb, this blue shimmer. I'm gonna try that on a dry brush and see how it picks up. Cause this one I don't really want to like fly everywhere. I wanna see if I can Get it exactly where I want it. It's okay. We're going to grab a setting spray. Mm, that's pretty. I'm gonna grab a small detailed brush. I'm also gonna spray this one and then pick up this green shade Whistler and just concentrate it exactly where I want it to be. And it's doing okay. 
I at least got it in the corner where I wanted it. I'm going to take black comb on my middle finger and then Whistler on my ring finger. And I'm going to start finessing. See, so much different with the finger. And then the blue, I'm just gonna kind of back and forth. I'm not taking it too high. I'm not taking it too far over to the green because I just want the green to stand out a little bit more on the blue, but I want that blue shade to just kind of like be there. And then the green is going to come over. This eye shade has quickly evolved. I'm gonna go do this eye. I'll be back after I do some face products and then we will finesse this outer V and the crease. Okay, back to finish off this eye look. If you wanna know what face products I'm using, they're linked down below. You can go check that out. But you guys, I'm digging this eyeshadow look. Let me know your thoughts. I'm really interested to know what you think. I did go and clean it up, which is why I have that like harsh line. We will go in, smudge out a little bit so it won't be as defined by the time we're done. So for underneath the eye, I think I wanna go into the shade Snow Bunny. I'm gonna place that and then put in some of this Snowmad just right through here to the middle and then take this dark shade, which is Ski Out. It's a matte black and kind of just deepen up the under as well. That's my thoughts. Have you used Nomad before? I am kind of bummed that I haven't before because they have some really nice quality eyeshadows. And the blendability, the shimmers, just if you've been here before, if you've seen my channel, like I am all about some shimmery shades. That blue <laughs> brings me back to like the 80s. <laughs> I was born in the 80s, uh, was not wearing makeup in the 80s, but man, if you look at some of the pictures. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this dark blue shade Snowmad. I keep pressing off to the left because I don't wanna mess up the prints that are in there. And then into the shade Ski Out. I'm gonna take it on the small smudger brush first, and then I'm gonna take it on the bigger smudge brush and bring it under. All right, so there's the difference between the blue and the black just connecting under. Let me know what you prefer, but I already did it on this side, so I have to do it on this side. All right, and then the larger smudge brush, just picking up a little bit, nothing too crazy. I just want to finesse the edge like I usually do. And up into the crease. Not too heavy because I want to keep that blue. Now for the inner corner, I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is Ski In. And it's kind of like a yellowy champagne shade. It's so icy, but yet it still has like a yellow shift because of the hue of it. And then my highlighter brush, just grab a little bit of it. And I'm gonna grab that one. <laughs> you guys, I really like this eyeshadow palette. Let me know, are you gonna pick this up? I wasn't sure when I saw it, I was like, ooh, do I need another blue-green palette? I really enjoy this. Um, yeah. Let me do some eyeliner, mascara, brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and this is the final look. I really like how my look turned out, especially because I feel like when I do eyeliner and mascara, it just pulls it all together. And at first, when you're just looking at eyeshadow, it's not as defined as when I do a wing. And even though I did smoke out this area with that winged eyeliner, it just defines it a little bit more. I used regular mascara. I didn't put any falsies on. So these are my own eyelashes. I just feel put together after that. 
let me know what are your thoughts down below are you digging this look do you like the eyeshadow palette are you thinking about picking it up this is such a cute package i really like i wish i got to snowboard this year and then the color store you guys i feel like there's a lot of fun shades in here and yes, you're going to get a lot of like bold, colorful, but sometimes you just need that palette in your collection. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're going to pick this up. I was actually really impressed with how the matte shades performed, how they blended out the shimmer shades and how they just kind of fused together. I wasn't able to pick them up as much as I wanted to with a dry brush as I was with setting spray, but you guys, I think that it did exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a more defined inner corner because sometimes when I use my finger to put the shimmer shades on, it'll fluff everywhere and then I can still see it peeking through my foundation and I didn't have that, so that was really nice. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one.